We are going to apply the following configuration on a Cisco router 1841. We'll start step by step with the host name and password. I'm going to use uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. I'll add the router since it's a new router. I'm going to add a computer to the router and connect it using a console cable. console port on the router side and to the RS232 on the computer side. On the computer I'm going to access software called uh, PuTTY. This is called on the Pack Tracer terminal. Click on OK. This is the router and this is the wizard. Asking you to access the wizard. No, I don't want. OK. I'm going uh, to configure host name for the router. Enable ConfD and the host name of the router will be Edge Router. This is the message of the day. Message of the day um, Edge Router. Authorized users only. Okay, this is a message. Next, I'm going to put a password for the console, also a password for the enable mode. Enable password. Enable pass. Okay, password for the console, line console zero. And the password for the console will be console pass. And log in to check for a password when user tries to log in to the router. Next, I'm going to add an IP address for the router on the fast Ethernet with some description. OK. Exit on the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. The IP address will be 10.11.12.1 slash 24 cider. On shutdown, I'm going to bring the interface up. Also, some description. This interface is connected to which one? Okay. This is the clip's description. Okay, I'm gonna allow internet on the router and protect it with a password. Only three so connection is allowed. Uh, exit. Line VTOI virtual teletype zero to two. This is allow three connection. I have I have sixteen line. Sixteen line could be connected to the router simultaneously, but I need only three connections. Zero to if I need if I need one connection, I'm gonna add only zero. But now I need three connections with the password. Tell my pass and log in to check for the password. Okay. Next, I need to encrypt all password. Why I didn't? Why I need to do this step? Because if I if I do show run, you're gonna see all the password in a clear text. Like likewise, the console and the telnet. So I need to encrypt all passwords. Uh, Confd uh, service password encryption. Enter now. If I do a show command run, okay. Now all passwords are encrypted, including line console and VTY. Next, I need to configure the router as a DHCP server with the following settings: this is the network and the gateway and the DNS, and exclude the IP address from one to five from the distribution. Okay. Now I need to name uh, IP <coughs> IP DCP. The pool name will be internal internal network. Okay, with uh, the setting configuration will be network ten dot eleven dot twelve dot zero five dot five zero. This is the network. I need to include the default gateway uh, 
with the AP distribution will be 10.11.12.1 and the DNS server 10.11.12.5 this is the DNS server okay now I need to exclude one to five IP addresses uh, I need to access this mode on the configuration mode I type IP DHCP excluded addresses 10.11.12.1 to 10.11.12.5 okay now the DHCP is configured I'm going to add I'm going to make some testing I will add switch and connect it to three computers and connection from a switch to the router okay now I need to enable the computer as a client DHCP I'm going to go to desktop IP configuration DHCP and now the first IP is configured dynamically dot six okay and second PC same thing DCP dot seven okay and desktop third PC DCP dot eight okay okay now back to the router I need to save the configuration to the MVRAM and to a TFTP TFTP server also so we need to save the configuration exit the NVRAM NVRAM which is called also startup config uh, copy run running config to startup config and the file will be called uh, startup config ok now I save my configuration to an non-volatile memory which means if I restart the router the configuration will be available next I need to save the configuration to a TFTP server ok here is a TFTP server and I will connect it to the router to the switch sorry and on the DHCP I will assign a static IP address 11.12.4 ok now I will copy the running configuration to the DFTP server with the IP 10.11.12.4 file name as router config ok that's fine and the writing is in process and everything is going fine let's see on the server what do we have now on config on the TFTP I have a file called edge router dash config that's right now I need to erase the startup configuration file okay startup configuration file okay erase startup configuration which mean remove all configuration file okay <coughs> now if I restart the process no configuration will be available the reload now the router is started as you can see no configuration is available since the wizard is asking you to start the configuration from scratch no okay but this way I need to restore the configuration file from the TFTP server all what I need now on the router side is to configure an IP address um, enable conf the uh, interface fast and zero slash zero and IP address uh, 10.11.12.1 with the okay, servant mask and no shutdown okay I need to restore now uh, uh, configuration file from TFTP copy TFTP to the running configuration okay uh, 10.11.12.1 sorry dot 4 
okay and the source file name is the router uh, edge router edge router dash config let me check the FTP okay as router dash config that's right enter okay so the main configuration okay now the configuration is restored show run and everything is restored including password DHCP server with IP configuration and everything is fine okay now I need to copy the run to the startup mode in order to save the configuration to the NVRAM next erase the startup configuration reboot okay I need to list all steps required to recover a router password okay let's assume that we have that we forgot the password of the router so what do we have to do is to restore uh, the password to do this I do a reload and while while the router is starting up I press on control key with the brake and I enter the ROM uh, operating system I put the config lag configuration registry to hexadecimal value there are x2142 and the 4 is stands for to ignore the NV RAM content including of course the startup config and uh, reset to restart the router now the router is restarted and it's like a new router since no configuration is loaded okay now I'm going to if I click on enable if I enter the enable mode no password load the startup config file to the running configuration file copy startup to running configuration file okay now the configuration is restored I need to change the password of the enable mode uh, conf t uh, enable password uh, new pass okay I need to uh, configure the registry uh, to load the, the startup config file uh, on startup uh, config x2102 okay if I type show version show version as you can see now it is 2142 but next time will be 2102 next step is to configure the router to accept SSH connection only okay back to the router the command prompt I need <coughs> I will configure the router uh, using the PC using the telnet connection uh, first thing to do is to add an IP domain name for the router on the config mode I add domain name domain name domain.com then add a username and password username user with the password user for the router Next, I need to generate a cryptographic key that will encrypt all the data, all communication data. Crypto, uh, crypto key. Uh, I need to generate the key with RSA algorithm. Next. Okay, I need the general key with the modulus. I will put 1024 model is instead of 512 next and now the key is generated next step is to go to the line VTOI I will keep it up to three con up to three connections three sessions and then uh, 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 enable the check login on the local 
router instead instead of another external uh, authentication server and then I will configure the router to accept only uh, the SSH uh, protocol I will put the transport to be on the input uh, anything is on is going from uh, from outside to input to inside of the router to be only the SSH protocol enter and this is it router SSH minus L using uh, the username user uh, for the router 10.11 the twelve dot one open and user is user enable and the password of the enable pass sure on 